suppose, I'm going to just contact the arch of the lamina on all of those segments. So for C2, I'm going to come up and it's going to be straight through. A little bit of a rise when you do this. The other thing is always keep in mind that the, um, the, <clears throat> the shoulder. So if you push, push on my shoulder here, when I, when I make an adjustment, I'm not going like this, I'm going this way. And, and you can feel my shoulder move by itself. And so that it's good to activate your shoulders. Yeah, like when you're doing nothing at home and you're taking, you just took a shower, you just look in the mirror and, <laughs> 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 and then think, wow, I gotta stop eating. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Okay. <laughs> and, and then C3, you're gonna, you're gonna see C2 is, is not in the uh, most amount of lordosis, but C3 is. So you're gonna come up this way. C, C3, you're gonna have to go a little bit more forward. And C4, C5, C6 right above there. And C6 is tucked in, so you gotta be careful. You're not getting uh, C5 and, and, and C7. It's kind of tucked in that one spot. And you can make sure where it's at by getting on it, what you think is on it, and when you take the head back, it should disappear. And C7 is the one that was gonna stay there. And then C7 is protruded back a little bit. So sometimes C7, is, people think it's harder to adjust, but just don't think that way. Just try not to think what's harder, what's it's not. But you can get right on the spinous of C7. You can get on the uh, lamina of C7. Of course, you, uh, this is um, what you want to do. Say, say you've got a um, C7 PL. So, and what I would call PL is I want to adjust it on the on the um, lamina on the side. So I will I have to set up a little bit low, bring it forward, and make the adjustment. And say it, it doesn't, it just doesn't adjust. And I and I know I put enough pressure on it. It's just really stuck because maybe it's been there for 20 years. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll go to the opposite side and I'll take a spinous contact and then I'll adjust it into the spine. And when you do the spines, the spinous contact, you're going to come across more when you make the adjustment. Yeah. Okay. Atlas, right? You said. Yeah, so I just come, come over. The, uh, the right side. Um, so on, on the right side, I'm going to use the contact, <laughs> my middle finger, bending it, putting it into the tip of the atlas arch there. And I'm just going to pull up a little bit here just to kind of sneak under. Um, but I don't want to make an adjustment to where I'm doing this or if you are, some people are coming together, then nothing will happen. So you've got to leave a little space for this adjustment to go through and then, and it looks like the hand is rising when I make an adjustment. I'm just keeping the head from falling over to the left. So I just, I just ex um, put the pressure in here, not too much pressure, but, but enough, patients know. And then I have the patient take a breath and relax. That's what I like. Just take that way. And he's got a little T1 on this side. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. I felt it earlier on you. Uh, so, if I do T1 on this side, that's, that's okay, I would just take it like that, lift a little bit, and just push forward. Now, go ahead and take a breath. Over. Yeah,